tutorial I'm going to be going over uh, floor designs and how to make them. Uh, so first I just started off with a basic square and then uh, went to each one of the corners and kind of just sectioned off the, uh, the square. So this is the center block and you'll notice that all the stuff I do is odd. I don't make anything even because it drives me absolutely nuts. But anyways, so you got that. It's just a basic, just a square. So the next thing you do is you decide upon what type of design you want. In this one, I just divided it into four equal, uh, yeah, equal boxes or whatever, and just kind of made rings around them in each corner. So then I just added like a little whatever fancy other block. I don't even know what this is. Uh, stone bricks. Okay, fancy block. But yeah, uh, that's the only change I made in there. It just adds a bit more variety to it. Your uh, eyes move over it a bit better. So in this one, uh, I didn't really change that much. It's just these, in this ring right here, just uh, those, the stairs pointing inward. So they make like a little kind of circle shape. Also, uh, one thing to note is uh, when you're working with stairs, you don't want to make uh, something that changes your uh, your depth when you walk over it. So, like, say you have two stairs like this, you walk over it and you fall down into it. Yeah, you don't want that. So, the most you would want is something like this, where you move over it just fine, or should move over. It, yeah. But anyways, uh, from that and to this. And this one all I did was just take out the uh, the glowstone and add kind of a little uh, uh, just a wood plank uh, on, on each one of the corners. And uh, that's mostly just to, uh, like if I wanted to pattern it, like say I would have this pattern here and then say another pattern over here that kind of interlocked with it. That way I could make it cover a bigger area and have it be less repetitive. So next I'm going to do the same thing with circles which you've probably already seen part of it just from me floating around. So this is just a basic, or a basic circle. I just outlined it in, it in magenta wool. Um, and once again, it's odd. And just section off each part of it. So for this, um, what you're going to want to do is, I don't know if any of you guys have worked with circles before, but basically um, you're, you're just making rings. Like if I were to fill in that right there, this little three, and then three block, three block, that's just on the, another circle. So anyways, I, I just filled in a few of those blocks along the circle. And then to add some uh, movement for your eyes, some, uh, some logs to vary it up a little bit. Then I added some, uh, some stairs to add a bit of depth, and once again, you walk over it, you know, move up or down or anything. It's just aesthetics. And then here, the only thing else I did was just changed each one of these to stairs. And yeah, there you have it. Pretty simple. Now, uh, for a few more examples, this is some of the stuff that the build team did. I'm going to take credit for this, it's not mine. But uh, yeah, just a bunch of different variations. And it really depends what you... Uh, what shape you're going for. You can do circles and hallways and squares and <laughs> whatever this is. But yeah, and not all of them have to have stairs in them to add depth. I just like to because I think it looks good. Um, but yeah, not all of them need to. But yeah, just looking around to give you a bit more variety. These are actually pistons. It's kind of interesting. Because you can... Uh, make them look different depending on how you place them. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. Hope you guys learned a bunch.